Congratulations on getting engaged. You have got one of the best adventures of your life ahead, which is your wedding planning. At Brightbook, we've planned over a million weddings now. We've had over a hundred million guests at the weddings we plan. And I want to help you as much as we possibly can to kickstart your planning with five amazing tips. And we've seen help couples enormously. I'm sure you're at the stage of your planning at the moment. We don't really know where to start. It can look very daunting. We're going to guide you through it all and simplify it enormously to make a load of fun and make it very easy. Number one, go and celebrate. You're one of the luckiest people in the world. You found each other. Go and celebrate. Spread the amazing news. Go and post it on your Instagram. Get your mates to the pub or whatever it has to be. Just celebrate like mad. This is a wonderful moment. People want to share it with you. Shout it from the rooftops. So once you finish celebrating, the first thing to start thinking about is your guest list. Now, you don't need to write your perfect list yet. You just want to start writing down who you know 100% has to be here, who might you want to have, who's a maybe, who might have a plus one, and that will start giving you a scale of your wedding. You might have a really short list, you might want to do something very intimate, you might have a huge list which might seem impossible, but don't react to that too much. That's going to help guide you on what you want. Now, if you have a too large a list, you can start deciding maybe we'll just have some evening guests. If you're having a very smallest, you might say, actually, let's do a multiple day wedding. Let's go, you know, do something intimate, spread out over a longer time. Choosing that list is going to start really framing like how many people you want. And this will lead to a lot of later decisions and help you guide you through those. Once you've got your rough guest capacity, now's the time to start thinking about your budget. And on Bribe, but the budget tool can start breaking down your budget for you. This is going to start pointing towards what suppliers you can afford, where your budget's split, and you can start allocating to what's important to you. After that, it's time to start thinking about when you might want to get married. Do you want to get married as quickly as possible? Are you happy to wait a couple of years? What season do you want? What time of year? If you've got guests coming from abroad, if you've got friends who are teachers, things like that, they're going to be certain times of year where they're holidays and, and balancing it all together. Choosing that time of year is really going to help you, not only with inviting people when the time's right, but choosing the style of your wedding. You're going to have a winter wedding, you're going to have a summer wedding. Is it going to be all outdoors? It's all going to be cozy and intimate. So finally, once you've celebrated, once you've got your rough guest capacity, once you've got your rough budget, and once you've got your rough timings, now's the time to start looking for your venue. Your venue is the absolute cornerstone of your wedding planning. It's going to set your date. It's going to set the location. It's going to set the limit of the capacity. It's also going to be the largest budget item of your wedding. The Bride Book Venue Finding Tool is the most powerful venue hunting tool in the world. We have every venue in the UK on the platform and you can specifically find what's important to you. If you want a rustic barn that fits 100 people and has 10 bedrooms for your cousins who happen to be flying in from somewhere and also does halal catering and allows fireworks, we have them all on Brightburn. That's where you can book your venue, start sending out invitations and the whole adventure is going to begin. And you can start looking for your photographers then and your florist and your band and think about music. You can start choosing your dress. You can start choosing your wedding transport. Are we going in a vintage car? Or are we going to go on a quad bike? You've got all this excitement to come. You can find it all on Bride Book. We're here to hold your hand every step of the way. And our tools are all there to help with all these steps. We have the amazing guest list tool. It's had over 100 million guests on it. And we're going to make sure the vegetarians get the vegetarian dish and the right people are sitting on table five. We've got the budget tool that's going to make sure you're not overcharged, that you split your budget out, that you're not going over budget and you're you know, living within the budget you set. We've got our brilliant checklist that's going to break every task down so you know when you need to work on something. You aren't there feeling stressed that you might be behind or, you know, have you forgotten something? We're going to make sure nothing is forgotten. And once you pull that all together, you know, you are off on the adventure of a lifetime. It's this huge moment surrounded by all your friends, your favourite food, your favourite dresses, favourite 
everything that's important to you, you know, the adventure can begin. So thank you very much. If you haven't downloaded the Bride Book app, I highly recommend it. We've had over a million happy couples and we can't wait for you to be the next couple. Happy planning.